God bless everybody today. It is um, October 13th of 2023. This is going to be a real quick report. Um, Hamas has uh, issued a day of rage for this weekend. Um, this is going to put Israel and police around the world on high alert. Hamas has called for protesters worldwide targeting Jew uh, Israelis and Jews. Um, Israel is warning. So um, we're seeing that the U.S. death toll has risen to 27. Uh, if you look at this bottom thing, you realize that Israel is getting ready to do a Gaza invasion as 1.1 million people are being told to go south um, out of the northern part of Gaza. And so a lot is happening on the ground right now and then you got the Turkish thing going on and Hezbollah all at the same time happening um, together and so it's amazing that <laughs> they would have this day of rage on October 13th right before this ring of fire event on Saturday so let's look at this real quick security around the world has been ramped up on Friday as Israeli authorities are warning the public about Hamas call for rage or day of rage targeting its people and Jews. The Israeli National Security Council and Minister of Foreign Affairs says it is recommending all Israeli abroad to be alert, keep away from demonstrations and protests, and if necessary, check your local security forces regarding possible protests and disturbances in the area. And I would recommend that if you are in the United States or in other countries and you're going to go to these demonstrations and different things that you really need to not do that and you need to stay out of these areas that are potential hard targets for these groups. And all these cells in the United States that they've been allowing to come in uh, through the borders and things that have been open for a long time are now going to start to come back and haunt us, okay? These cells are going to be woken up and you're going to see attacks on multiple institutions, uh, facilities, railroad structures, and power structures, everything possible that they think they can do to damage this country and put us into a, a position that we aren't going to be able to actually act against them. This is a global jihad going on right now. Understand what you're in front of here. It's a global jihad against the Christians and the Jews, led by Erdogan, which is the leader of the Muslim world, okay? And it says against this backdrop of Operation Swords of Iron, which is the Israeli um, operation they're running right now against Hamas, the Hamas leadership has called on all its supporters around the world to hold a day of rage on Friday the 13th, October 23, and that attack on a uh, Israelis and Jews, the agency said in a joint statement, it is reasonable to assume that there will be protest events in various countries that are liable to turn violent. So they're going to induce themselves into these protests and then they're going to create havoc inside these events, which is going to build over to the population and cause all kinds of problems. And so you just need to stay away from these kind of events. Um, you know, you sh should be preparing your oil, putting your blood over your doorstep, like back in Egypt during the plagues, and bunkering down while the madness goes on around you. I've talked about this for a while. You do not, do not put yourself in harm's way. You do not want to be out in this madness. It's going to get bad from now on. You need to understand what's coming to the world. Not only the Middle East, but to your neighborhoods. They've been injecting people into our neighborhoods for years. 
these people are going to start to wake up and they're going to cause havoc across the planets. It's just that simple. And if you don't see this coming and you go out into these positions of potential harm, you know, that's your choice. You're not going to change this situation. God has already written a story that's going to play out in front of you. You just need to learn how to ride this one out and try to save people's souls and get them to the open door, which is Jesus, before the next 1,449 days to the Feast of Trumpets, October 2nd of 2027 on a sabbatical Saturday when the East Gate can be open. You need to look at the Fall Feast of 27 prior to the Shemitah start in 28 in September. It's that simple. God bless. Have a great day.